Hi everyone again, welcome to our introduction to PVC's fifth video and in this video section, uh, I mean since I was in a vacation, I gave a little break to record the videos, um, but uh, we will continue from the point where we left, I mean from the system part and in our last video section we talked about the warnings that uh, we can encounter when we are designing in our project in the system park, I mean the warnings that occur in this uh, blue box blue section uh, in the system part and we talked about the types of the warnings i mean generally the names of the warnings that we can encounter but in this video section we will try to understand the meanings the sense of these warnings in a deeply manner so that we can truly understand what that warnings tell us and if you want let's get started with our first warning the first warning says the inverter power is slightly oversized. What that means for, as you can remember uh, from our general project, I mean from our uh, grid connected rooftop project, we said that the number of series, I mean the number of seat rings in our system is totally 24. But the number of panel in one seat ring, just in one seat ring is 20. And we can say that when we are decreasing the number of panels, the number of panels just in one series, or in another option, when we decrease the number of series in our system, we can we can encounter with the warning that tells that say us the inverter power is slightly oversized. But what that means is. It means that, it says that, it means that the power rating of the inverter is slightly, little bit higher than what is strictly necessary for the system's peak power production. But what is power rating of the inverter? Uh, please, let's try to understand this uh, very little crucial concept. The inverter power rating is the maximum amount of the power that inverter can handle in itself and the it is the maximum amount of power we can say that inverter can convert from DC format to AC format. And from this sentence we can understand that the power rating of the inverter, which means the amount of the power that inverter can handle, that inverter can convert from DC to AC, is slightly little bit higher than what is strictly necessary for the system's peak power production. And from the system's peak power production, we can understand that the amount of the maximum amount of the power that will be produced from more strings. I mean, the amount of the power that will be produced in DC format. And it says this implies that the inverter power capacity exceeds the nominal power output of the solar array that it's paired with, but only, only with a small margin. And experts in that field say that the oversizing, but with a little bit amount can be beneficial for our systems because it's, uh, it enables us to increase efficiency. What that means, inverters often operate more efficiently when they are not running at full capacity. When the inverter uh, are not running at full capacity, I mean, if the uh, if the power rating of the inverter, the maximum amount of power that inverter can handle and the amount of the power that we can attain in a DC for, uh, format from our strings uh, is just nearly same with each other. I mean, one of them is 100 and one of them is 100 again. If they are in the same amount, it can be a little bit harder. It can be a little bit harder for the inverter to handle that capacity because it is working at full capacity. It can be harder for an inverter to run in an efficient way, in a most efficient way. And the second reason that we can benefit from is handling peak loads. 
I mean, it says uh, the inverter can handle occasional peaks in power output from the solar array, especially in the cases of higher irradiance. After uh, that, you can think that if uh, the uh, being little bit oversized, I mean, if the uh, power rate of power rating of the inverter can be a little bit oversized uh, compared to the um, system's peak power production, if it is allowable, I mean, if the little uh, bit difference is allowable and uh, good for the uh, converting the process, I mean, converting the electricity from DC format to AC format, why the PVCs uh, make a warning that the inverter power is slightly oversized. Actually, the pro programs, uh, the design programs like PVCs try to uh, ensure that the system is working in an optimal uh, condition. I mean, even if it is a little bit, they are not trying to be a little bit higher, a little bit lower. The uh, programs like PVCs try to uh, ensure that the system uh, is operating at optimum range. Uh, because of that, they are uh, the PVC system is not allowing to uh, these uh, differences, even if it is a little bit. And uh, this was the end of our uh, video. Uh, in this video, we uh, try to talk about the uh, very first warning that inverter power is slightly oversized. And in our upcoming video, we will talk about the inverter power is strongly oversized. And in our uh, upcoming upcoming video, we will talk about the third warning that says string DC power output is greater than the maximum DC input voltage of the inverter. We will talk about these issues step by step. See you in the next video.